<laughs> in those days, she was this little, tiny, scrawny little thing. That yeah. little? With matchstick arms and legs. I was that big, and Sian was much taller than me. And her head was about like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and her the nose and, was about like that. I don't know which one of us said it first. It came much later on when we were adults. But we started saying to each other that we were like sisters. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. And we used to have to put our coats, we used to, literally, we had to take our coats off. We had to put our shoes off. And we had to take our shoes off. We weren't allowed to go to class with our shoes on. Yeah. Is it open? I don't think so. Oh, let's go in. There, there's, there's a Shelley's classroom. This is my classroom. I said to my father, I'm going to ask you a question and you'll think I'm crazy, but you need to tell me the truth. I have to, have to know the truth. Please tell me. And he said, yes, certainly I will. I will if I can. And so I asked him, did I have a sister who was adopted at birth? And he didn't answer me. There was this silence on the other end of the phone and I started to cry very loudly, cried so loudly. When I stopped crying, he said to me, how do you know? And I said, I don't know how I know, I just know. And I said, please tell me, tell me what happened. And he said, the baby was born on the kitchen floor. We were living in a migrant hostel at the time in a place called Bradfield Park. The baby was born on the kitchen floor and you witnessed the birth. Then the baby and your mother were taken to hospital and your mother came back, but the baby never did. I never realized. <laughs> oh, so Shelly was a happy clown, which is the way she presented herself. Okay. You are? Okay. Yes. She didn't talk about it, she didn't complain about it until a lot, a lot later. <laughs> 